Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. I just wanted to give you a brief update on some things that I've learned after my first century ride. A few weeks ago, I rode my first century ride and wow, it was an amazing opportunity and an amazing lesson for me. It's actually paralleled a lot with my weight loss journey and I just wanna share some insights with you that I've learned from experiencing this 100 mile ride and my journey up to now. Before the ride started, our ride leader had told us, this ride is gonna be 80% mental and 20% physical. Everybody's been invited here because physically you can do this, but mentally this is gonna be unlike anything you've ever done before. Boy, was he right. So the ride started off well. I was a little nervous. Just a little freaked out right now. But the first five miles were great. And then all of a sudden it started to drizzle and I was a little nervous so I put on my raincoat and I was like, I am not gonna be caught out here in the rain. Meanwhile, everybody in my group just completely abandoned me and just kept riding on ahead. I would have probably done the same thing. It's 100 miles after all. We're not waiting around all day for people to get rain gear on. So I'm riding along all by myself. People are passing me like crazy. And all of a sudden, mentally, I start like shutting down. Like, I cannot do this ride. 12 miles in and I'm completely defeated. I don't think I can make it another 12 miles, let alone another 88 miles. It was about mile 12 and this guy rode up alongside of me and said something that changed my perspective about the entire ride. He said, hey, you're doing good. Keep going, you got a great pace. At that particular moment in time, I had no idea what my pace was. I was so sure that I was going eight miles an hour and I was gonna finish in about 24 hours. But thankfully, he encouraged me and he told me I was doing good and it gave me the energy to get me to the first rest stop. Well, after we got rested up, we got back on our bikes and I started to go with this group of people that set an amazing pace. We were riding about 15 miles an hour and sure enough, I was doing great. It felt amazing and I was able to keep my pace up. I was able to keep up with them and it just felt like we were gonna be able to make it to the next 40 mile mark with no problem. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. As we were riding this second leg of the journey, I started to encourage people that I was passing. I was actually passing along the encouragement that this guy had given me. And I thought about this and I was like, you know, that's been a lot like my journey that I've been on with my own weight loss. I'll start out strong, maybe a few minutes into it, I'll be like, I don't know if I can finish this. And <laughs> sure enough, a few days later, I'll be defeated and I don't finish. But this time around, I've had that five mile moment where I'm like, I don't think I can do this. But sure enough, at 12 miles, I'm completely defeated and somebody comes alongside me and says, you've got this, you can do this. I was feeling completely depressed. My weight had gone up, it had gone down. I was fluctuating back and forth. My eating was awful. And I texted my buddy Tyler and he's like, you've got this, you can do this. I was also extremely nervous about riding a century ride as big as I am. I did not think I was gonna be able to complete it. <laughs> Here we go. Since the ride in early October, I've actually lost 15 pounds. I can't believe it, it's fantastic. But there's been a lot of hard work that's gone into that. I've been writing my food down, been going to the gym, been trying to get better sleep, and sure enough, those things slowly but surely start to take place, and then all this momentum starts to happen, and I'm able to see results. Well, after I got my buddy's encouragement, I hit the gym, I went back to work, I've seen results, and now I'm reaching out to you guys and I'm trying to encourage people. The same way it was on my ride. As I was encouraged, I want to encourage you. And I just want you to know that where you're at right now is not the worst place you can be. You can always do something tomorrow. You can always do something today. You just gotta own it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Please click the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel as I produce fresh content to encourage people. And if you have somebody that needs encouragement, please send them to this channel. Please send them this video or my previous video up here. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.